Good morning, Lisa Seklich, Public Works Director. I'm here at the Ellsworth Recycling Center this morning to kind of go over some of the changes that are coming to the Recycling Center beginning February 1st of 2019. Um, first, I want to direct your attention to, if you come to the Recycling Center, there's a bunch of these yellow um, notices around the center that are going to explain the process and what we are and aren't going to be taking, as well as some of these flyers that we have printed out here and available for you to review that explains what's going to be taken and what's not going to be taken. I'm also going to take a minute now to kind of go over some of the items, um, kind of show you what will be taken and what's not going to be taken. If we jump back here, shredded paper, we are no longer going to be taking shredded paper. Um, so that's going to be something that's going to be um, eliminated. Uh, when we come to cardboard, which is the first thing back here, um, currently we're taking the um, these type items. These are considered box board. So your soda can boxes, your cereal boxes, your cracker boxes, those are going to no longer be taken. The only type of cardboard items we're going to take are going to be your larger packaging corrugated cardboard. You know it's corrugated by when you look on the side it's got these corrugations. This is the type item we are going to take. And we do request that it is broken down and flattened so that um, we can put it in our baler. Um, now we go to the newspaper and paper type items. We are going to continue to take newspaper, magazines, and your um, like newspaper advertisements, so your Shaw's and your Hannaford's and that type of newspaper um, advertisements. The stuff we're not going to take is your uh, packaging type paper, your egg cartons, your junk mail we're not going to be taking, as well as your envelopes with the um, uh, windows, all that kind of stuff is no longer going to be taken. Um, going to plastics, your number one and number two plastic is what we're going to be taking. So your milk jugs and your water jugs, these are number one opaque plastics. We are going to continue to take these in the number two opaque plastic area. Um, number two, colored plastics, so your laundry detergent type um, containers, we're going to continue to take those. Those will go, like this says, in your number two colored plastics. It also includes a lot of your shampoo jugs and that kind of thing. The way to tell what number of plastic is, is you look on the bottom here, and you'll see a number on the bottom. So this is a number two, and that is how you can tell whether it's a one or two plastic that we are going to take. Um, now we go down to here. These are some of your number one plastics, like your Parmesan cheese container, your um, dish detergent container. Again, number one is located on the bottom. That's how you'll know it's what we take. The things that we don't take are some examples of stuff we're no longer going to be taking are your yogurt type containers, your salad type flimsy plastic containers, and kind of like the packaging type plastic containers. Um, and the other example, and one thing I do want to mention that kind of applies to the whole realm of stuff, is this is a great example of a container that has not been cleaned out very well. To make things recyclable, we need to clean them out, they need to be clean. This would contaminate the recyclables and be rejected. Um, same thing with your dish detergents and your laundry detergents, make sure those are completely empty of their original contents. Um, steel slash aluminum cans, not much is actually changing in this item. We are going to take your um, tin olive oil type cans, your fruit jug, olive, uh, vegetable soup kind of cans, um, some of the um, aluminum tray slash foil paper type stuff but it needs to be clean. Again, 
This one's got some residue of some fatty type thing on it. And that is going to be, um, can potentially be a problem. So if you're going to recycle that kind of stuff, it needs to be cleaned. And then lastly, we go down to the glass container. And no matter whether it's colored glass or clear glass, Unfortunately, we're not gonna, we are no longer gonna take any type of glass. So this last um, hole that you guys are used to throwing glass in is going to be covered up and going away. We will continue to take your um, glass, like soda bottles, wine bottles, the stuff that's returnable for those of you who like to um, leave the returnable type ones here. We will continue to take those versions. And then lastly, to finish out, um, you'll notice these bookshelves. Um, we are asking that people um, do not leave random items for others to use. We don't have room for a swap type area. So we're asking that you no longer leave um, large type items in this area. Um, one of the other paper items that I wanted to bring up is your paperback books. If you do want to recycle them, um, they are recyclable as long as you remove the cover and put the book portion of it in the recyclables and this version or this portion of it in the trash. And on behalf of myself, the city, and all the staff here at the Transfer Station Recycling Center, we appreciate your patience with us as we make this transition and hopefully things will go smoothly. If you'll have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact us and we will do the best to explain what we're going to be doing going forward.